Guys, so now in here we have an exercise. So we want to determine how to obtain the prime cost, conversion cost, how do we determine the total inventory bought or product cost, as well as what are the components of period cost. Okay, so let's divide our attention here first. So the problem states that um, you have a marketing cost of 160,000 pesos, direct labor cost of 245, administrative costs of 145,000, direct materials used 285,000, fixed cost factor overhead 175,000, and variable factor overhead of 455,000. So let's first determine what is the equation for prime cost. Okay. Again, let me ask you first, what is the equation for prime cost? Okay. So you have here direct materials plus direct labor. Okay. So for conversion cost, what's the equation for conversion cost? It would be direct labor plus factory overhead. So factory overhead, it is, this is already inclusive of your fixed and variable overhead. Okay. Total inventory of all product cost would be DM plus DL plus factory overhead. Okay. So before answering this, before solving this, let's first determine which items here are product or period costs. Okay. So uh, first, marketing marketing cost is this classified as product or period cost? Again, product cost. The definition of product cost is um, this. This will be included as part of the cost of the um, finished goods product, okay? while period cost would be expensed outright. Okay? So for marketing cost, since this has nothing to do with the production, you cannot trace it, you cannot trace marketing cost to the uh, finished goods inventory, this would be classified as period cost. Have your period cost here. For your for direct labor cost, automatic this would be uh, inventoryable cost because you can um, associate associate directly the the labor incurred in producing that product. So this would be inventoryable or item. For admin costs, these are costs. Um, these are expenses for um, let's say um, the executive's salary janitorial services so this has nothing to do with um, with producing the product so this would be classified as period cost so for direct materials use again very obvious you would see the wood in a chair you can see um, the glass in the mirror so that would be your direct materials use so this would be inventoryable so we have your fixed factory overhead and your variable factory overhead so what are the examples of this one of factory overhead? So this would be your um, rent on factory, right? building rent, okay? So insurance, anything to do with factory, okay? Or anything that has to do in helping to produce the finished good, okay? That would be classified under factory overhead. So indirect materials and indirect labor, um, this would be classified under factory overhead. Okay. So for this, both would be inventoryable. So now, we've already classified which items are inventoryable or peer costs. We can now easily compute for the prime conversion and inventoryable and peer cost. Okay. So, um, you get Prime cost again, direct materials but direct labor. You get your direct materials used of 285. Okay, 285 plus your direct labor of 245. This would be 285 plus 245. This would be equal to 530 pesos. So for your conversion cost. 
direct labor plus factory overhead. Factory overhead inclusive of fixed and variable. Okay. So again, you get your direct labor of 245,000 plus the sub of your fixed and variable factory overhead, which are 175 plus 155. The total would be 245 plus 175 plus 155. It would be 575. Okay, so the trick here, actually not a trick, but you might get confused. Total inventory, total inventoryable cost is the sum of direct materials, direct labor, and factory overhead. Okay? It is not right to assume that the total inventoryable cost would be the sum of prime and conversion cost. You might get confused. Okay, that would be wrong. Because conversion costs, again, for prime and conversion costs, the direct labor is always there. Okay? So, you don't have, you, you, you would not add 530 and 575 to get inventoryable cost. Okay? I'm saying this now because there are based on my past experiences, there are a lot of students who get confused on this one. So I don't want you to get quick on this one, okay? So total inventoryable cost, you add your total product cost of this one, 245, 175, 175. You have your 245 here, plus direct labor cost of, you know, you have your direct materials of 285, Plus direct labor of 245 plus the sum of your factory overhead which is 175 plus 155 you have 330 here total would be 860 okay okay good so asking you what is the total period cost so you just simply have to add your marketing marketing plus admin so you have your marketing cost of 460,000 pesos plus your admin admin speed cost of 145 would be getting a total of 305,000 understood so, please don't get wrong here in determining the inventoryable or product cost. So, again, the formula for here would be your um, product cost or inventoryable cost, which, which would be direct materials plus direct labor plus factory overhead. Factory overhead, it would be your fixed and variable portions. And um, inclusive in the factory overhead would be your indirect materials and indirect labor, your factory rent, and anything else. Okay.